Let's add a new VAT code to our QuickBooks account. If I go to taxes on the left hand side, it gives me the option top right to add a tax. And this is where we can go and add a new tax rate. And the top option tax rate is where we will go and we can name our tax. So in this case, we might say 15% standard VAT and it will feed into my description when I click in description. I've got options when I add a new tax rate as to whether it relates to sales and or purchases. In this case, it's going to be both. So I'm going to select my sales to start with, put the rate in. So a new rate at 15%. And here I will need to pick whether it's a liability or an expense. This will be a liability account. We want it to feed as a liability. We owe the money potentially to HMRC. So we would always pick liability for this instance. And in terms of the lines here of the return, we want it relating to the sales lines, the boxes one and six of the return. So we pick VAT due on sales and other outputs for this particular code. On the net basis, again, it's the net value of sales that we're interested in. It's not relating to EC member states. So we're going to go for net value of sales. It's the UK tax code. I would select purchases because we need to apply this code to purchases as well. And the same thing, it's going to be 15%. It's going to be a liability again. Uh, we want to track it that way. And we need to pick here the net amount going as net value of purchases. So that's the option there. If I save that, that's generated a new VAT code for us. If I go to edit rates here, we will be able to see that our new rate 15% standard VAT is appearing here and is switched on and if we go to a transaction so in this instance I might just pick an expense but we could equally pick another type of transaction in our VAT box here we will now have an option for our 15% standard VAT and if we pick that we can always check that it's working by putting an amount in this is exclusive of tax and we'll see here that it calculates the VAT at 15% for us on that particular amount. So always worth having a quick check on the transaction to make sure it's working. So that's it, that's how we add a VAT code into QuickBooks. And in this case, the standard VAT code at 15% has been added.